black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, y'all? Reporting live from the dusky, dusty, dusky moment of nightfall in the Arctic tundra, and it's 4:45 p.m. Sun's dipping by 5:20 today. Something to that effect. And I am on a roundabout, and it is weird. But that being said, we have a limited time window. It's been a busy day. We've been out and about doing some shit. Talk about that. I'm having crazy deja vu, or I was. It's over now, but it was a long episode of it. Anyways, I'm craving pizza, pizza, pizza. Out west, known as Pizza 73. I think that's where it originated. The pizza itself, it's all right. It's pretty good. Sometimes it's all right. It does has caused me some of the worst heartburn in my life ever. So there's that. That said, though, there's a certain thing about it. It's nice. They do sell it per the slice in the rotating window. If there's a fresh one, I'll get that with some dips. Now that's really why I came is for the dips. Their creamy garlic, the creamy dill, all their dips. Their dips are fucking dope. And they also have, what's the word I'm looking for? Deep fried pickles, which I do love. If they have a walk-in special, we might get that. But we have a two for six cheese or pepperoni slice walk-in. So if they got that on deck and they're nice and hot, they do recrisp it and redo it in the oven. So I'll probably just get the walk-in special, couple pepperoni wests some dips and uh we'll try to get this video in before the sun also dips not like sauce but behind a mountain where it is over there so anyways i look extremely canadian slash alaskan state trooper uh we're having a weird time here but we're trying to straighten her out and uh that'll be that so meet you back in a minute okay <laughs> round two fight Get over here! <laughs> yeah, 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 I used that joke before, I remember. I was in a Walmart parking lot and I ate Subway, okay? I remember these things. I have the mind of an elephant or whatever they say. Anyways, I'm back from inside. I could take this off because in my own, my own dwellings, my own quarters now. Yes, yes. I went in, the pizza on rotation looked like old as shit. So he had a walk-in special for 850 medium pepperoni pizza pie. And so I'm getting it hot off the of, which is going to be nice. Got myself a couple dipping sauces. Got a brio, which is an Italian, Italian cola. And I couldn't be helped. They're selling chicken sandwiches here now. Fried chicken sandwiches. Just simple chicken, bun, sauce, mayo, I think. Just a standardized mayo and pickle. Never tried it though. Interested to try it. So I threw that on there. Looking at a 21 buckaroo video, but it's all good. The main thing that's the issue is 15 to 20 minutes, he said. And I, dumb, stupid head, forgot that we're racing against the sun. So hopefully it stays at least kind of bright enough to make this video not a complete and total uh, dud as far as the video quality. Having all that, like, uh, what do you call it? Static hiss, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully we can avoid that this time around. But I'll check back in when I've got the goods. Ah, yes. The beautiful parking lot mountains and sky of Northern Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually go pull up over here. Look at the sky though, it's really dope. It's got this like feathered effect from blue to, to dusk color pinky type shit but we gonna pull up and have our privacy this is gonna be my view a snow pile it looks smaller on camera than it really is it's about oh i don't know 15 feet high but let's eat okay so ay 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 it's a hot hot pie ay ay let's crack it open she's fresh out the of a medium pizza pizza thumbnail let's see if we can get some steam going i th think we can and get ourselves a nice come on hot bite wow they really is this like oh i see what's happening here i'm failing to realize how the construction of this box works box works okay great reveal oh my god it's tight older under all right there you go hot hot pot pie creamy garlic this shit is gold this is that's half the reason of this chain success is their dipping sauce their dipping sauce game 
is probably the most on point dipping sauce in any of the games. Here we go though. Now we're steaming. She's nice. We're gonna do a rip a back to back dip bite. Oh, there it is. Mm. Mm. We got a mouth burner. But that's how she's supposed to be. Mmm. That's what's up. I had two coffees pretty much back to back before this, so go on an empty stomach. So the shakes are kind of real right now. Don't mind me. Oh. In the dead of the cold here, minus 15. base temperature with wind chill minus 25 right now so that's warming up the soul i'm starving i haven't eaten shit today it's the one meal hmm all right, so. Ordering pizza for delivery in a cold northern climate. On certain days is an absolute no-go. A cold cardboard pie by the time it gets to your house. This is the creamy dill, up close and Percy. It's creamy dill sauce. It was next level. In these type of weathers, if you wanna get a good pie, you gotta get a pull up pie. The only way only way pizza pizza how's good pizza but it has to be fresh It really, really has to be fresh. I'm absolute crush mode right now because I'm starving. We're trying to beat the sun. I'm trying to beat the heat, basically. But we do need a Italian cola brio. A Kinoto, if you will. Kinoto soda. Very, very... It's so good. It's like a Coke, but way more... It's got that better natural flavor to it. It's got uh, this really deep, herbaceous, licorice -y. Just a better, better soda. We're going to continue with the dill. That's the dill right now. So on the way here, I had the most insane deja vu I think I've ever had in my life. You know how deja usually lasts? Deja vu usually lasts for like a split second, maybe like 
a couple seconds. This one was literally like five minutes of driving. And all these memories started fl flooding back and I was like, I was almost convinced that I warped back in time for real. <laughs> and I was reliving a Groundhog Day. And in my head, I was even so convinced of that for a few minutes that I said, I tracked myself back to the day that I would have been reliving. And I was like, I have to intentionally go get something to eat that's entirely different than what I got in this deja vu day, just to confirm that I didn't go back in time. <laughs> I swear to you, it was that serious. I've never had deja this crazy. And we back on the creamy garlic. Anyway, yeah, just out and about today. Doing a bunch of shit. Stopped by the new workplace. To pop in. Just to have some dialogue. To prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be in the first day. So tomorrow we enter new territory, but I stuck around there today for almost two hours and just got uh, affiliated or, you know, just looked at some systems and stuff and just figured some, some, some things out. Did a couple tasks with the guy just to see how things are. That's for you. It'll be good though. And then <laughs> my mom needed a a rescue of her phone line is out and the dudes need to get through her backyard, through a gate to get to a, like a, a, a demarcation point to work on the line. And she can't shovel it herself. So I went and made her a path to her back gate. Cause as you see, there's how much fucking snow there is here. Now this is obviously from plowing parking lots, but still you get the idea. There's a couple feet in her backyard. That pizza is so good. And I didn't get any napkins. Whoops. So I did that. She's babysitting my sister's dog. I went and visited the dog. And my sister's stairs were just kind of sketchy and dangerous. So I have like my, my chipper. In a northern climate, you need like a, it's like a little flat blade to chip and clean off ice and packed snow. So I got busy on a front stoop and just made it nice and cleaned it out and swept it off. So my mom don't catch a header, you know. And also for so, so my sister doesn't catch a header too. Or the mailman or anybody like that, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're racing against the sun here. I don't know what this video even looks like at this point, but like I said, that chicken sandwich was a thing. And uh, never tried it. I'm interested to try it. It looks good. Oh, it already looks good. It looks good on the menu. But their chicken tenders here in the past were reputable for being good. So I don't know how much of that you can see right now as per the brightness on the screen, but she looks good. Pickles are underneath and they look great too. Fresh. So intrigued to try this very basic 
yet delicious looking chicken sandwich. Gonna go mayo side heavy, and we'll probably even dip it in the creamy dill at some point here. Whoa. Wow. Unbelievable. That's actually nuts. First things first, fresh as shit, everything. Chicken, batter, the bun, the pickles, they're not soggy, they're nice and, like, they, you can tell they're fresh. And this dude, he must know me. He sauced the shit out of this. Well, not the shit, it's perfect. This might be better than most fast food chain chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Baron KFC, Baron Burger King. Better than McDick's. I've never had the luxury of having Chick-fil-A. And I've never had the Popeyes one. The Popeyes one does look fucking crazy good though. Although they look almost Franken thick, like definitely raised with some kind of crazy steroid antibiotic in them. To make them fatties. So that's a little off putting because this one is just normal. I like how it just seems like a normal amount of chicken. More natural. But wow. Nice, fresh, hot food in a cold climate. When you're starving. Top tier experience. Could just say it like that. It didn't need any more sauce really, but we're at the point where I just do want to try it with this creamy dill. Made it amazing. Made it amazing. And I'm so full right now. That was perfect. That was just what I needed. All right, minor little celebratory, almost, uh, what's the word here? Uh, uh, the f last hurrah, it's not my last hurrah at all, but just, uh, you know, coming into working and stuff. I'm sure my upload schedule is gonna be impeded upon but i'm still trying to get a bang out vids you might be seeing a lot more um truck content though just because i could squeeze in like lunch break stuff or just right after work while it's there's still some sun and like you know i could you know cooking stuff maybe after work if i can just depending on certain things and bang out stuff on the weekend to upload through the week and stuff but uh you know, I just don't know what's going to exactly happen moving forward in terms of my, you know, my schedules and availabilities and all these things. 
but uh today was like a just a good day i had like a really positive fun day today I'm just trying to be helpful to people that need needed my my like male help and stuff right just sisters and mom and stuff something you got to do when you're the only dude in your family and you know they just need that assistance sometimes that's a whole conversation about like men and women and stuff there's just certain things that let's be honest men are more capable at due to their our physical nature and there's nothing wrong with that i hate that part about the world where it's just all this stuff like there are kind of gender roles real shit and it's like i don't mind that that's my role i'm being helpful to people that you know they're just you're not as physically inclined to do these things for yourself it's nothing wrong with that to have and you know there's this whole thing about the about femme movement like oh we can do anything you can do yeah okay that's cool but like it doesn't hurt to have a male role in your life to help with do things like that when you when it's like they're just a little more adept at it or they're physically more capable or whatever but anyways that's the strange ass society we live in anyways now i didn't even mean to go that deep on that but i ramble so anyways till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true